Alatra TV in cooperation with the Embassy of the Republic of Cuba in Ukraine presents a series of documentaries, Creative Essence of the Cuban Soul. Film One, Creative Culture of Cuba. Cuban culture is very rich, very diverse in itself. Cuba is a mix of different cultures that merge. Music is a reflection of our essence, and so it manages to display, draw, model, and build the world the way it is, in the way we would like it to be. Cuban soul is joyful. As for music and culture, I imagine creative society, which first and foremost popularizes values. For me, creative society is the society of humanity. The most beautiful thing is that we can change the world with the help of love. This world needs love. And love can be given by people who have very strong, very rich spirituality. Friendship unites us, and it is very easy to make friends through culture. Culture has a gift of bringing people together instantly. Culture is nothing else than a way for every person and every society to express themselves. In Cuba, especially in the eastern provinces, there is a tradition of Las Congas, and in Pueblo Nuevo, where my grandmother lived, there was conga. And my mother told me that, when I was little, I was a bit over a year old, when I heard a conga passing along the street, I immediately said, Tonga, Tonga, Tonga! And they had to take me to the conga, where I had immediately started moving to the rhythm of the drums. So this is what almost all Cubans have in their blood. When a Cuban hears a drum, it is very difficult for him to sit still. We have a mixture of different rhythms that make the culture more interesting. We literally live dancing. Let me give you an example. Liszt Alfonso. She takes everything from the Spanish dance, but mixes it with Cuban rhythms. They do it on a high level, with great professionalism, with great depth and great delicacy. We, the Cubans, are very creative, we have great ingenuity, and as soon as we are born, even before we learn to walk, many children dance and feel the rhythm. Thus, musicians and dancers appear and develop in the history of Cuban culture. That is why we are all over the world, somehow penetrating into culture. We, women, are able to realize everything that we aspire to. 
since we are the ones who give life and are responsible for keeping the hearth, can't we do much more? Besides, every day we prove that we can transform the world. But the best thing is that we can transform it with love. As if we transformed the world into one big home. That is why I think that recently and in the future we are called to be that powerful and transformative force that will change many things in the world with love. I think that dancing in Cuba is something we can't do without. Something real. Something very necessary. Something without which we would not be what we are today. The Cubans. A Cuban is a very friendly person who always likes to give his friendship. A Cuban, leaving his little island traveling from his little island to another country, whether he is going for permanent residence or to work, always carries inside his little piece of the Caribbean island. And wherever he goes, he sets his little flag there. I told you that this little place called Cuba Camp is the heart of Cuba here in Ukraine. We created it in cooperation with this company. And in this place, we try to preserve what we, the Cubans, like the most. Since childhood, I have been attracted by music, although many Cubans are musicians and they like to play instruments. Most of all, I like to dance, something quite significant. Cuba is a mixture, as we say, the keys to the Caribbean because it combines incredibly different cultures. A Cuban is a person who communicates very easily with other nationalities, with other Cubans, and with all people in general, thanks to this diversity of cultures that we have. My grandma always sang while doing household chores and it brought her joy because she was doing it with love and joy. And she would turn on the music at the same time, Cuban music. My father also loved to sing a lot. He sang even when he was driving. It looked like singing inspired him. There weren't any artists in our family, but art was invisibly a part of our upbringing, our life. Cuban writers and Cuban poetry have a lot of values, and this poetry turns into songs of bolero, which can make anyone fall in love. Just by listening to these songs, a feeling of love for everything around you develops in you. For example, Buena Fe band is a band of young people who were able to preserve these roots while creating music and songs, yet adding new aspects to them, but caring for the cultural roots. I think that Cuban culture today, at the time being, is in a very good state. 
We have a lot of young people who create high quality art in different genres, such as classical music, jazz, R&B, traditional Cuban music and dance music. Meaning to say, Cuba is an island of music. This country is full of people and throughout the whole of its territory from the east to the west, we are very musical. To start composing songs that are closely related to everyday life, personal troubles, which speak of love, politics, society, but from a musical point of view. Music is a reflection of our true nature, and that is why it is able to reflect, picture, and model the world the way it is, and the way we want it to be. I think this was important to us in an ethical sense, as well as in a sense of our life views. Tristemente vuelo en fraude, esbelte siempre cobarde, tras la esclavitud del hilo, gracia majestad, aprendí. It's impossible to hold back songs, compositions that come from you. If what you have inside is not in a dialectical unity with what you're going to express in the outer. Cuba keeps trying to stand up for solidarity among people. Love between people is above money. And this is what we are trying to reflect in our work. Great human feelings are important to us. And I think there is a need for art to be like life. Regardless of where the mainstream cultural industry's paths lead, real art looks like life. And I think this is one of the most important things that we should maintain in terms of cultural development. It is not just studying the piano notes or how a song sounds, but also all that should come from within, through your feelings and how to express this human feeling so that others also, first, share it with others and secondly, so that it has a positive effect. Cuban music, above all, brings people together. Cuba is a country that consists of different, say, different peoples. It's kind of a mixture that has given, say, the syncope. The syncope is kind of a rhythm or musical trend, which conveys this flavor of Cuban music. This is what makes you want to dance and move when you hear it. This syncope has a very good effect on your mood. When did I decide to be a musician? The place where I was born and... that is... My mother had no musical education, but nevertheless, she sang very well. When I cried, she didn't stop her job. She was suing, rocking me on her lap. 
like that. And she was working and sinning. And apparently, this, she tells me that I even learned to whistle before I learned to walk. That is, in my life, music was with me initially. For me, Cuban music is everything. I mean, I cannot imagine a single minute without music. The Cuban soul is joyful. Guantanamera, Guagira, Guantanamera. Guantanamera. There is a city in Cuba called Guantanamo, and a girl who lives in the city is called a Guantanamera, a girl born in Guantanamo. Our national poet, José Martí, has such a poem, and someone thought of taking this poem and adding the chorus of Guantanamera, Guajira Guantanamera, and it turned out to be a very simple song. Cultural exchange is very important. It is absolutely necessary. I believe that people should know each other better. We need more interaction, greater rapprochement of all cultures, because this makes us all richer. Cubans are very creative, very curious, and very, very proud of what we believe we know. You know, this country that we call Cuba is a mix of different cultures that merged or collided. There are some elements that will always come out in the music, some more than others. The Spanish side, the African side, the French, Asian side as well. In Cuba, the musical system is very serious. So I had to go into a special education with my first music teacher. Her name is Maria Alvarez Rios, and she taught me how to sing. But also, in all her songs, there were teachings about society, about being kind to others, about being kind to nature, about, you know, having good manners. She was, obviously, as well as my, my parents, a figure that shaped my world, but in her case, through music. As soon as you, became, you become someone with a big profile and you know that thousands or hundreds of thousands or millions of people follow you, then you, if you are aware of your status, you should be kind and you should feel the responsibility because what you do is one of the elements that affect people who follow you. The theatre movement in Cuba is very active. It is very lively. 
but at the same time, in the cities all conditions have been created for it, and in the countryside there is also a very active theatrical movement. I'm referring to the theater La Calminita, but this does not mean that it is present only in cities. Who are you? Where are you? The children of La Colmenita begin their classes by sitting down on the floor together, holding hands and sharing what good things they have done today. But this has already gone beyond Cuba. They started to create Colmenitas in Venezuela, Nicaragua, in different countries. It is all in a form of a game. We play and learn in other cities and countries around the world. I was in Santiago, Pino de Rio. I was in Argentina, Mexico, and Venezuela, Germany and Russia, USA, Spain, Dominican Republic. And then I went to Spain for a month, Hungary, Romania, Ukraine. Understand that this is not exactly a children's theater not an ordinary theater created by adults for a child. It's rather a theater created by children for children and the whole family. It is something that is being created by those who participate in it. It's a creative society which consists of small people of all ages. I studied in Lvov, Ukraine. And you cannot even imagine what that means. That was the precondition for the creation of La Colmenita. There are Colmenitas in various provinces of Cuba. And also we managed to create Colmenitas in other countries, especially in Latin America. And all of them were created under our leadership. Further, we gave freedom to children's mischief let the children keep their freedom. Sincere pranks, it is not about repeating slogans or repeating stereotypes, but about being authentic, the way we are. I believe that a creative society is more clear for children. It is children who are those who devote themselves to others with a hundred percent passion, 100% equality and with 100% respect for life. We see that spreading good deeds is possible. And I believe that all the children who participated in this group had the privilege of carrying the ethics of life that all children should have. And it was acquired through culture For me, the soul of Cuba is in its children and its culture. I know that for sure. In the world I live in, I live among children who are dedicated to the idea of cultural sharing. That's what the Cuban soul is for me. That's where all its values come from. All the values that a person can have in a full life, in a completely free life where we are all equal. The soul of the Cubans is in their warmth, in that feeling of kinship, which appears even after a recent acquaintance. They always show closeness, solidarity and willingness to help. The soul of the Cubans is also very closely connected with social issues, with their social behavior. We also have creative spaces that are developing now. This is a new trend, but it is also an atmosphere in which young people have their own space to create. 
In Cuba, young people have a general idea of what different types of art are. I want to say that creative spaces is the topic of my graduate thesis. It is a laboratory center for multidisciplinary experimentation and training, as well as for supporting young creators of culture in Havana, because this is where the center is located. It is designed to develop initiatives in various fields of art, communication and new technologies. The center is equipped with very good technologies so that young people can get access, develop the project and have some technological support in order to carry it out. First of all, young people like it very much because all young people always want something new, apart from preserving traditions. And this is what allowed us to move through cultural life, which does not stagnate, but on the contrary. Every time it finds new ways, new forms of self-expression that contribute to the enrichment of culture. A human is here because of love. That is, I believe that he is also here because of love, because of solidarity, because he can think, because he can plan his next steps, his future. We want to live happily, live in peace. I believe that peace between people is necessary for life, for development. It hurts to say, but throughout the whole world, selfishness has captured such values as solidarity. Sometimes it seems that selfishness often wins out over love for one's neighbor. Many times we put profit, money, at the center of our faith. And I feel that our main mistakes as humanity were precisely in this. This does not mean that money is not needed. It does not mean that the economy is not important. But the economy is not life, to which everything else is adapted, but vice versa. The economy is a subsystem that must be adapted to the ecological conditions of the planet, to the search for sustainability, to providing people with everything they need. When a person is strong spiritually, he has a very great power to overcome the difficulties of life and to give love. This is very important in today's world when most of the things that surround us, when we open social networks and when we watch TV, most of them are bad news. This world needs love. And love can be given by people who have very strong, very rich spirituality. And those who can feel that a person here accidentally goes through their life. As Marti said, death is inevitable, while life is something that should be built. And it is being built every day. Undoubtedly, life is the most valuable thing because without it, there is nothing. And the next thing I would say is that it is exactly spiritual growth and the respect that we need to show to each other in order to find, realize, nurture and develop a better world. I would like the world to be more filled with love so that people treat each other with kindness. You should start to understand your neighbor, respect and love your neighbor. And when we start with one such person and pass it on to another person, it turns into a kind of chain. And so, in fact, the whole society would become much better than it is today. I think a creative society is a society in which people have equal chance.
I hope in the future we will live in a creative society in which people will aspire to develop the best in themselves. And we must take every possible action to change the world. It is extremely important to spread the principles, foundations and essence of a creative society. I firmly believe that the day when the eight foundations are realized, the dream society will become a reality. Everything will be great and we will all enjoy it. The Creative Society project was created on the initiative of the people themselves after conducting numerous social surveys, interviews, holding conferences and talking a lot with the large number of people around the world. The eight foundations of the Creative Society are the result of the need, the request of the people themselves. Because they talk about this, they tell us how they want to live, where, in what world, in what society they want to live, what values are most important to them. After analyzing everything, we understand that yes, these are these eight foundations that we can share with everyone. This is the set of values of every person in this world. I think a creative society is a society in which people have equal chance of finding what they are good at, what they can excel at. That way they have a better chance of contributing to that society. I would like the world to be more filled with love, so that people treat each other with kindness, so that there are no borders, so that there is no war, so that we all live in peace, so that there is no bad news, that is, that all the news is good. It's just a huge desire of every person for something ideal, where there would be equal rights, both in words and in deeds. Where for my part, I help society. I get from society what I want most, what I like the most. The foundations that I'm guided by in life are to respect, not to deceive, not to abuse, not to kill, respect a person regardless of his status. You should understand the development of society and you must contribute something to society and receive from it what is necessary for your survival. I see a creative society, as Marti would say, with everyone and for the good of everyone. I think that the way forward is unification, not separation. It is enrichment, not diminution. It is respect for each other. The creative society, for me, is the society of humanity. When I saw the foundations of the creative society, I said that these are the foundations of life. That is, life was created for this, for this, people were created to live in society, live together, but share creativity, share what each of us creates. I 
I believe that we can all do a lot to change this world from what it is now. And in many cases, we don't need to do great things. With the little things we do every day, we can do enough to change the world. Some time ago, I saw an illustration. I don't remember the artist. There were several people, each in his own world, and they all thought the same thing. I alone cannot change the world. The problem is that one person cannot. But if there is unification of people, great things can be done. All the foundations that a creative society contains are exactly what we are talking about. They are the foundations, the basis for the development of life, for the development of humanity. But, of course, life is the most valuable thing, because without it there is nothing. And next, I would say that this is precisely the spiritual growth and the respect that we need to show to each other in order to find, realize, nurture and develop a better world. The eight foundations of a creative society are the foundations for the existence of human life, what it exists for, and what human life should strive for. If we all try to live by these principles, life will become what we all truly dream of. It is not only that they want it, but that it is really necessary, it is very much needed. People need a different life. And I think that, yes, all that is written here, everything you propose will have a result when we manage to unite the efforts of all countries, so that people understand that life should be organized differently because we are heading straight to a disaster of humanity. And we must make every effort to be able to change the world. And so that a human being becomes more active and creative. The idea of the creative society is very good, and it is also great that we are all together, shoulder to shoulder, trying to spread information, to convey it to people, so that they understand what we are talking about. Because if we achieve this, it will become a reality, and a better world will be possible. I hope that the future we will live in is a creative society, in which we, people, will strive for the best and always remember to put ourselves in each other's shoes, to think about another person. Because this is the only way. As I see it, this is the only way that can save this planet and save the human race. This is what I feel. This is what I believe in. I believe that the eight foundations, when they are realized, will become the society of our dreams. Everything will go wonderful and we will all enjoy a creative society that will ultimately benefit all of us. Spreading the principles, foundations and essence of a creative society is a paramount, undoubted importance to spread the foundations of human life and remember what we were born for, what we live for. Dear viewers, first of all, I want to wish everyone love. Because love, when it exists, can achieve the impossible. 
I also wish you a lot of health and happiness. But happiness must be created every day. And each of us is responsible for achieving our happiness. Therefore, I wish that each of you knows how to build your own happiness and the happiness of all the people around you. Thank you very much.